what are the features of lineage x rom based on lineage os running on the xiaomi poco f1 hey peeps what's up manchi here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you the features of lineage x rom which is actually based on lineage os running on the xiaomi poco f1 this is a new rom and the main aim of the rom is to add features on top of lineage os we are not going to cover the features of lineage os in this video if you want to have a look at the features of lineage os i have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of this video in this video we're going to cover the features which lineage x rom has added on top of lineage os so as you can see it is running silver core plus kernel on my poco f1 next up they have brought in the new volume panel from paranoid android which looks super cool and the animations are pretty smooth as well other than that you also get extended reboot or advanced to reboot out of the box so if i press the power button click on restart here it is i have the different options i can reboot into system system ui recovery or bootloader mode now out of the box this build is running lineage os tribute launcher and this is the options which you get in your quick setting tiles you do have gaming mode and ambient display if you click on edit you can of course add the different tiles whichever one you want to and these are the different tiles which you can add other than that if you click on the three dot menu on the top right you can also configure the number of columns you want to see in your quick settings in both the portrait mode and the landscape mode as well now these options are check boxes and from what i understand or from what i know check boxes mean you can select multiple options however that is not the case so in my opinion these should be changed to radio buttons because only one can be selected at one point of time then you also have the volt icon from oxygen os and voice over wi-fi works in this build while we are on the home screen you will notice that we do have the three button navigation style from oxygen os and your notifications are android r style next up we can open the settings application and as you can see all the different items have new icons on the left which is a refreshing look and the icons from android 10 are good but they do get boring so this is a different look and it does look refreshing we can first go into battery over here you do have the option of resetting your battery stats just click on the delete icon on the top and then you can reset your battery stats you do have thermal profiles baked in as well so you can choose what thermal performance or what thermals you want to use for an application and i do suggest that for gaming you can either use the benchmark thermal or the gaming thermal whichever works the best for you moving over to display you do have dark mode in the building and once you enable dark mode your phone and messaging application will also switch over to dark mode and while we are in the phone application if you go into settings and then sound and vibration you do have the option of setting your vibrate on answer vibrate on call waiting and vibrate on hang up so those options can be found in the phone application and while we are in the display application or the display setting if you go into styles and wallpapers you have only one style which is default which is baked in if you go into clock you do have different clocks so you have default default bold then you have samsung clock samsung bold bubble analog type and binary if you go into style and then create a custom style you have different fonts which they have added so instead of having four fonts you have these different fonts which you can choose if you tap on next the icons are still the same tap on next they have added a few more accent colors so these are the different accent colors which you can choose and then the icon shape are still the same click on next and of course you can then give it a custom name in case you want to other than that in display you do have double tap to wake and double tap to sleep you can also wake up your device when you plug in the charger moving over to sound they have the option of linking and delinking ring and notification volumes using this toggle 
and you also have the option of setting different ringtones for different sim cards moving over to security we do not have face unlock and that is because the face unlock which pixel experience is using these days is closed source and i'm not sure whether they're going to share the source with lineage x developer team or not then moving over to accessibility if you scroll down in accessibility you will see an option called vibration and haptic strength so from here and you can change the vibration when your phone rings you can change the vibration when you get a notification and you can also change the vibration intensity for touch feedback next up we can move over to system and if you go into gestures you do have the option of enabling three finger screenshot bam here it is three finger screenshot working like a boss you can also take extended screenshots if you want to and if you press the power button you get the power menu over here press and hold on the screenshot option and now you can take partial screenshots as well there it is working like a boss and now going back you can go into system navigation if you want to use full screen gestures you have an option for that as well and you also have the option of hiding the small pill at the bottom if you click on the gear icon or the settings icon beside the gesture navigation you can configure the sensitivity of the back gesture then you can also control the amount of screen height to be used as a touchable region for the back gesture what is the size of the gesture bar you want right now it is set to small which is aosp you can of course change it to let's say long click on ok and bam there it is the button or the gesture bar is now longer in size i just prefer to keep it small or just hidden and last but not the least you also have the toggle to enable or disable of showing an animated arrow for the back gesture i just prefer to keep it disabled and full screen gestures gives me a good immersive look so those are the features which lineage x rom has added on top of lineage os and in terms of gestures smoothness i haven't noticed any jitters or any lags when you're using full screen gestures on this build all in all the build is pretty stable no random reboots or anything like that and there wasn't any excessive battery drain either so there it is peeps those were the features which lineage x rom has added on top of lineage os and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you